Today, I trap my supporters in cages using the Glitch Welder. We're also going to be taking a look at some new features of the Glitch Welder that's going to allow us to do much more than before. But first, holy moly ravioli cannoli oli. You guys left so many amazing comments, even more comments on the second video than the first. I don't even know how you guys, I thought I was the one with the big brains, but you guys are coming up with such creative ideas. So thanks again for your love and support. I love reading your guys' comments. And if you haven't seen the first Glitch Weld It videos, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. Check it out. What's up guys, Goomba Durf over here, coming at you with another Glitch Weld It. Now you might be thinking, this is Durf's face reveal? What? Nah, nah, I'm a dwarf, I'm a dwarf, I'm a Durf dwarf, right here. I'm not the Goomba, don't worry. So in the last Glitch Weld It video, I asked you guys, if you're going to save anything on the workshop, save them with the letters GWID so that I can easily find them. And oh boy, there was some already amazing stuff in the workshop, including this Goomba. This was actually an evolutionary form. It's like a, it's like that man stuck in pot that you saw in the last video. The Pokemon, this is the evolved form of the Pokemon. It's actually a Goomba. So it's, <laughs> if you ever see a man get stuck in a pot, he's, uh, he's just slowly evolving into a Goomba. This is actually made by Quantum Elixir. I think it's the same person that made the man stuck in pot. So uh, very, very big brains on Quantum Elixir over there. And uh, check this out, check this out. This is actually a functional blueprint. This is amazing. So if you, <laughs> just like in Mario games, if you jump on a Goomba's head, well, they don't explode in Mario games, but you get the point. Now here we have a really creative design. It's a machine gun. So somebody took a spud gun and welded a bunch of other stuff to it, like a bunch of pipes, logic gates, mugs and stuff. And like, look at this. This looks like a scope on the top and this is an actual machine gun. Oop. Oh, I see, you gotta look down the sights. You gotta look down the sights to fire the gun. Pretty cool. All right, and up next we got the waffle. Somebody saved the waffle from the first video. Somebody saved just the waffle onto the workshop. Very nice. If you want to have your breakfast, <laughs> if you wanna have your breakfast on the go, you can have your waffle. Re wow, that flew so much farther than I thought it would. Well, that just means that they're light and fluffy. All right, now here we have the Auto Spud 3000 by Redstone125. Uh, I think this is probably one of the most amazing uses of the Glitch Welder I have ever seen to date. And it auto reloads. Oh, that is amazing. Look at this, automatically reloading Spud Turret. Oh, oh. <laughs> It's got quite a fast firing rate on it, but surprisingly, I didn't blow myself up yet. So let's just spam the button and see if I <laughs> see how dangerous this thing really is. Well, that didn't take too long, did it? And here we got one by Rayan. These are the finger guns, pew pew, <laughs> and they actually shoot, or do they? I think, unfortunately, the finger gun, uh, like the fingers, are right in the way of the barrel, unfortunately. Up next, we have a couple of duck creations. Uh, this one's called Space Duck. And look at this, they glitch welded a duck inside of a little glass block and built a little rocket ship around it. Super, super cute. Super cute. Um, we just need to send this guy to space now, right? Sorry, little ducky, you're going to space. Okay, little ducky's blasting off into space to explore the great unknown. Three, two, one. Oh wait, it's the back switch. Three, two, one. <laughs> that was a lot faster. Oh my gosh, that was a lot faster than I thought. That poor duck and all those G-forces. And here we have the Chonker Big Rig. Look at this. <laughs> if you get in the way of the big Chonker Big Rig, he's gonna honk at you. Oh, what? He turns around and does stuff too? <laughs> That's the Chonker Big Rig. Uh, bon voyage. What was that? That thing had 50 bombs on it? All right, and over here we have a lot of ducks. Lots and lots of glitch welded ducks. Let's see, let's see them all. Let's just see them all. A ducky in jail. That's, uh, I think we saw that in the last video. This is a duck and a screw. So it looks like a duck's on a huge, like huge, huge pedestal. My goodness. This is, <laughs> this is a duck and a spud gun. Beautiful. I mean, you can barely see the duck in there. It's just the, the duck is like operating a giant gun. Of course, we've got the honker chonker. 
Here, a little duck inside. I don't know what this part is. It's just that square part. You guys know what it is. Oh, what? Duck in a radio. Some more ducks and some more square parts. The good old cup of duck. Gotta love a good old cup of duck. And over here. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is this? This looks like a duck with a giant hat on. This looks amazing. Like an oversized hat on a duck. Oh, <laughs> check this out. This is a quad cup speedy. Two fancy ducks operating this tank of a beast of a duck vehicle. And just turn it on. Wow, look at this thing go. This is amazing. My goodness, this is amazing. I really want to put like a little polygon block seat or something and uh, and give it like tank steering so I can drive it around. This is really cool. And over here we have a multiplayer mug. You can, <laughs> for those times where you really want to share your germs with your friends, you can slather those lips on all together all at once. Slurpy slurp. And here somebody saved the intimate tub on the workshop. So if you want a tub that you want to share with a friend, you can find it on the workshop. <laughs> now over here we have all of the signs glitch welded together. Oh my gosh, look at that Z fighting. So I think somebody actually suggested to do this in the comments of the last video. Uh, but since somebody already made it and put it on the workshop, I might as well just download it and show it, right? So here you go, we got all the signs glitch welded together. Pretty cool stuff. Might as well delete that block and see what happens, right? Watch this sign explosion. Bam! Wow, that was actually, that was actually really cool. This is a huge mess to clean up though. And similar to the last one, we have a light with every single color, question mark? Hold on, let's take this, uh, let's take this light into the cave maybe, so that we can uh, see exactly what's going on here. Oh yeah, I see it, I see it, I see it. There's like a little rainbow effect and my FPS is dying. <laughs> but there's like a little rainbow effect and cause these, like what? What? Uh oh. <laughs> okay, that wasn't too, too bad. Ooh, look at this, we got red ore. There you go, red ore. Go join your glitch welded light buddies in the cave. This is actually pretty cool though. Red ore? Look at that. All right, over here we have one by Turbo Biscuit. This is a four-way light. You know what, gotta go back to the cave. Give me, get, get over here, light. Look at that, that's pretty cool. It kind of looks like a street lamp. Or like something that you see, I don't know, in a mall or something. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh my goodness, here we go. We got uh, one from Alex White Zero Plays. This is for GWID Dwarfs. Glitch Weld series. <laughs> uh, this is a fighter tire. It looks extremely deadly. Oh my goodness! It got. It has two buzz saws and a spike on the side. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get a bunch of these. And we're gonna put them on a car. Look at these tires, man! Incredibly deadly. Oh yeah! I forgot that the buzz saws only work in like one direction, and if they're like moving fast enough. So, if I'm driving forward, it's my left side. <laughs> if I'm driving in reverse, it's my right side. Uh, whoops. But there was actually a comment on the last video that addressed this issue. It suggested to weld a buzzsaw going one way, and then a second buzzsaw going the other way in the same place, so that it doesn't matter which way you're driving forward or reverse, it's gonna work either way. So let's go ahead and give that a try. Okay, so here we got a saw going one way. Oh wait, I gotta actually paint it. There we go. Saw going one way. Saw going the other way. There we go. Uh, it, wow, wow, that looks very spiky and dangerous. They're going both directions this time, so forward and reverse. There you go. Forward and reverse, they'll do some damage. Can you glitch weld multiple wings into one for extra lift? All right, let's go, that seems easy enough to try. Let's go ahead and try that. Okay, so on this vehicle, I'm gonna put two tiny, tiny little wings right here on the fronts and sides, uh, just like this. And we're gonna go ahead and hop in and test flight. Hmm, I think we're like barely, barely able to catch any air. All right, but here's the idea, here's the idea. We're gonna paint these tiny wings that light cyan color, glitch weld them out of existence, hook up a button, and then spam a ton of them in. 
So if you can imagine, it's like this thing is stretched out all the way out there and it's got layers going this way and that way. Uh, let's put this on the left and see how many wings we actually have on this. 376. All right. <laughs> did, you, did you see that? Just putting it down off the left, you can see it. Oh boy, I think it's extra effective. Yep. Yep. I can't even slide along the ground anymore. And they also say, how about multiple flubber for extra bounce? Now this is actually really interesting, I don't know if this is gonna work. So one flubber block by itself with a uh, big pipe piece attached to it and it bounces, well, pretty decently, but I don't think it's gonna, I was about to say, I don't think it's gonna leave the ground on its own. <laughs> uh, I don't know, it can at least do one full flip, I think, but I, I don't think it's gonna do like a double flip. Of course, it just goes ahead and proves me wrong. Anyway, uh, you, you know, we can see, it's just not, it's not gonna be able to like lift that thing too far off the ground. Uh, I don't actually know if the flubber block is going to react with just one single like bounce value when it hits the ground or if it's going to actually connect with all of them all at once. I don't know. Th I, I actually don't know what's going to happen. So let's go ahead and detach this and find out. Here. Weird. Weird. Okay. So like the flubber block itself is heavier. You know, that's really interesting. It is bouncing more, but it doesn't seem like it's bouncing the amount that it should be for the amount of flubber blocks that there is. It's almost like as if it's bouncing with just one flubber block, but with the force of the weight that's behind it. I'm not sure, man. That question's still unanswered to me. I, I don't know. But to answer your last question, uh, weight does indeed multiply as well. Okay, so here I have a lot, a lot, a lot of metal blocks welded into a single spot. Let's see what happens when I detach it. Uh-oh. Oh! That metal block looks like it's having trouble. Oh my gosh, I can't even move it. This is a single metal block and a single metal pipe, and of course I can hit this away. Uh, but this, uh, this is just not budging. Let's see how many metal blocks I actually welded together for this. Oof, my game almost crashed. Three, <laughs> 3,006, uh, yeah. So uh, this, it definitely does multiply weight. Definitely, mul let's uh, delete the pipe. What? What? No. No, 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 no. It's not possible to save this as a blueprint, is it? No. I'm both really tempted to, but also I really don't want to remove my lift and just let this bomb loose. 3,600, like individual blocks, 3,000, you know, ah, what's the worst that's gonna happen? Let's do it. All right, three, two, one, here it. All I did was try to place down my lift. Oh, what? Wait, what? Hold up. I see the new frame in my recording software, but I don't see it on my actual game with the, what? My goodness, I didn't even get a bug splat from that. <laughs> that's, that's the hardest the game has ever crashed, I think. All right, so we've had to come out here in a fresh world because uh, I destroyed that other world just with blocks alone. <laughs> <laughs> Glitch weld a spud gun in the shark's mouth. Ooh, that is a fun idea. Let's give that a try. So put the spud gun right there. Paint that. Put the shark driver's seat in place, like so. There we go. I think that'll glitch weld in. There you go. And you can even get on top of this and ride this. Oh, what? <laughs> That's a spud gun in a shark's mouth. Why do I look so happy riding this? <laughs> this is actually a really cool seat a multi-direction spud gun. We have four spud guns and uh, they can each shoot. They should be able to shoot. Yeah, there you go. There's a multi-directional spud gun. I think this is actually similar to another comment that I saw. Yeah, here it is. Glitch weld many spud guns to make a wheel and use it as a wheel on your vehicle. Uh, we're gonna weld that into place, just like that. Then get the wheel and then we can detach with one block. Aha, and it stays attached together. Good, 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 good. So now we can just go ahead and uh, reconnect that logic right there. And there we have our spud firing wheel. 
Um, I probably should have put that on a vehicle. All right, here's a comment that says, glitch weld tires to make a sphere tire. Ooh, a spherical tire. Let's uh, let's see if we can do that. I think we're gonna use the small tire for that though. I think this is gonna take a little bit of a clever building solution, but uh, I think we can do it. So check this out. I'm gonna set up some pipes out here first. Uh, we're gonna do something like this and this. There we go. And I think this one's gonna be the center of my spherical tire, uh, which also means I need a tire here. Um, so let's go ahead and get our glitch welder in. So let's go ahead and get our glitch welded tires in place already. Uh, starting with tire number one. Okay, so there's the first one in there and then we need our pipe framework. Okay, here we go. So now we can do a uh, tire going this way uh, and then we can glitch weld that out of there as well. So we need this out of the way and this out of the way and this out of the way. Just like that. Which weld everything back in. Okay, so there's our spherical tire. Now I also need to weld in the additional pipes to actually make sure everything's held together nicely. Uh, so, just to make sure I can see what I'm doing, let's get those tires out of there. Okay, so uh, I'm not exactly sure how I'm <laughs> going to finish this. Um, this is a little bit confusing, but I think, I think we can get rid of all of this up here, so... Uh, let's get rid of this, actually. We we need to glitch weld some more stuff. Yes, that's right. Let's go ahead and glitch weld these out of place again. Get them out of here. So now we need to attach our thing here. Perfect. So we can detach it over here. There we go. And then we can add in our final pipe piece. Just like that. All right. So now everything's gonna be held together and hopefully all these pipes are gonna be hidden when I glitch weld everything back in. Let's see what happens. And also the pipe framework is gonna be finished. Did I get, uh, did I put one here like this? I think I put one there. So yeah, the pipe framework is gonna be finished as well. Uh, and then this long pipe is gonna be sticking out. I'm gonna be able to uh, look at it and delete it. So here we go. Yeah, look at that, it's a spherical tire. So I should be able to detach this and it's intact, it stays intact. Oh my goodness, I made a perfectly spherical tire. Check it out, where's my hammer? Give me my hammer. <laughs> Give me my hammer, I wanna, I wanna, it's hammer time. Oh yeah, look at that, we got a ball. You know, it's not perfectly spherical tire because these uh, these little corners over here, they, they're definitely, they're definitely holes in the tire. But hey, it is closer to a ball and it is completely vanilla. All right, so here's a comment. Put a pair of boots sticking out of the toilet. I don't think that a pair of boots is gonna stick out of the toilet very well because the toilet is odd width, but we could stick a single boot. So let's go ahead and try that. Okay, so we got our boot down. Boom, my goodness. Oh no, that toilet is overflowing with uh, the, 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 the nastiest kind of, oh no. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. A uh, boot in the toilet barely fits even one boot, but uh, yeah, that was pretty That was pretty fun. Ooh, here's a good one. Weld every scrap mechanic plant into one. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started then, I guess, with uh, this plant right here. Just do them in order. Uh, every single plant into one. I'm not sure if that's even gonna work, because like, look, you can't even see the, uh, you can't even see the other plant now. Uh, so let's just try that again, maybe. Maybe we're gonna stick a block underneath this plant. All right, so we're gonna stick a block underneath uh, the tinier plants, just so that they have an opportunity to show themselves. Uh, glitch weld that out. Here's a tall boy, we don't need to worry about him. That's that's not gonna show at all. <laughs> that's not gonna show at all. Well, let's put it on two blocks. Two blocks for this plant. Glitch everything back in. Bam, and there we go, we got an extra leafy you can barely see the leaves from each individual plant. Uh, yeah, it's, it, I mean, wow. <laughs> wow. All right, so this is what four flowers looks like. Four flowers in different directions, and oh my god, I made like a super flower. All right, and last one for the plants. I think I'm gonna try and glitch weld uh, four of these all together. Or maybe let's glitch weld uh, all the different types together like this. Yeah, like this. And we're gonna create a super plant. I, I don't know, I don't know how that's gonna look. 
Oh, it's not too bad. It's not too, too bad. But yeah, you can barely notice like some of the other ones. I mean, you can tell that they're glitch welded plants because they look more full than they normally do. Uh, but I don't know. I think the plant models just merge together really nicely. Okay, so here we are just in a fresh world. It's time to show you that new feature of the glitch welder. This is a game changer. So you might have already seen in the previous video, you can glitch weld stuff into some other stuff. You can even get it coming out in the color that you want and you can duplicate stuff with the button functionality very easily. But this is an entirely new mode in the glitch welder. Check this out. Okay, so just as an example, I'm gonna put a glitch welder on the back of this car here. Uh, we're gonna get a little concrete bar just like this. And we're gonna stick an explosive right on top. Now we're gonna go ahead and paint that that light cyan color uh, if we go ahead and glitch weld it. But then say we delete this concrete right here. And now if we just drive forward and press that button, well, you see, <laughs> So you can kind of see the problem, it still welds relative to our vehicle like that. So if you wanted to drop the bombs like that, uh, like you'd have to, you know, put some kind of, uh, you have to put some kind of like a cardboard thing or, you know, to let go of it when it spawns in. But let's go ahead and show you that new feature of the glitch welder. Same as before, same setup as before, super simple, right? You guys should already know how to do this. Except this time, instead of painting the light cyan color, we're gonna paint the light green color, that minty, minty, light green color. Now this color, this is a new feature in the glitch welder. Whenever you're painting things the light blue color, it is relative to the creation that it's on. It's relative to the blueprint that it's connected to. Whenever you're painting it the light green color, it's relative to the world itself, not your creation. So let's check this out. Uh, well, first we gotta glitch weld it out, out of existence, there we go. Okay, so now that we're driving along, we just press the button and bam, it welds in place. I mean, it, it welded relative to my creation, but the position it welded in was absolutely relative to the world. I don't know, it's a little bit of a weird thing to wrap your head around, I think. Um, so if we weld again, you'll see another one spawn behind us. So it's because of where I initially welded it uh, relative to my car. So if my car is moving around in the world and I just spam a bunch of bombs, see, I'm, I'm making, I'm drawing a line where I, uh, oh, <laughs> it even does the jumps that I did. You can see how much air time I got. That's pretty cool. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. So that's one of the new features of the glitch welder, making it really, really simple to uh, spawn things behind you relative to the world. As a matter of fact, let's show you guys, uh, let's show you guys what might be a useful use for this. Okay, so this time I'm putting concrete bars coming out of the sides of my vehicle, and then on the ends of the bars I'm putting my explosives, painting them light green. Maybe it's not a great idea. <laughs> oh, there you go, there you go. This is working really nicely right now. Oh, look at that. So you can drive around and spawn in your race course on demand with the press of a button. And you know what? Doing this in a car gives me another idea. All right, guys. So here I have a stunt plane. This is one of the funnest planes that I've ever built to fly around. You can fly it around super easy. It's camera controlled stunt plane. And uh, over here I have a flight ring. So let's go ahead and try the same thing, but in a plane. Okay, so over here I have my camera controlled plane uh, set up with a flight ring ready to go, ready to spawn in. Uh, this is the first time I'm testing this out. I have no idea how this is gonna go. Let's uh, see what happens. Whoa, do a barrel roll. Which by the way, if you haven't seen this plane, I have a video on it, uh, go check it out. <laughs> All right, so let's see, does spawning in rings work? Eh. Oh. Something, so, what, 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 what's that? Wait, what's that? Something shook my plane and I, something just fell down over there. What? Some pipes? <laughs> what? Some pipes? Okay. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. We have, uh, oh my God, I almost didn't make it. <laughs> we have a flight ring and we can spawn infinite number of these. Check it out. Okay, wait, 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 wait. How about we do this? How about we do this? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do something like, uh, like this, like this. Check it out. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, so I realized I'm spawning in like a bunch of loose pipe pieces. I don't know where those are coming from. Um, I might have to fix that or I could just ignore it, but check it out. This is a flight ring course. Oh my God, this creation's amazing. I'm already having a lot of fun with this. All right, let's 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 see if I can, let's see if I can, um, uh, I guess, I guess we'll do it this one. Oh my God. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Ah. Oh. Failed my flight school. <laughs> uh, maybe I need to space the rings farther apart. 
let's uh, let's try a backflip. All right, let's let's do let's do like a loop de loop thing, like this, like this. Oh, what is that? What is that? <laughs> what is that attached to my plane? What? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. That's not weighing my plane down. All right, so I guess the uh, spawning absolutely relative to the world is a little bit, uh, there's still a little bit bugs to work out here and there, but potentially a lot of fun. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see if we can, eh. uh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> just go, just go, just go, just go with it, go with it, go with it. Go with it, you can do it. Go. 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 No. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Beautiful. So that's just an example of how you can use the uh, glitch welder and uh, I just lost my, oh. Wait, 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 where are you going, plane? Where are you going? Get back here. Get back here. <laughs> where are you flying off to? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh, my game is breaking, guys. My game is breaking down. Uh-oh. But now it's time for the point in the video where I actually do the thing shown in the thumbnail. Let's do this. Okay, so here I'm gonna do something a little bit special with my supporters. Uh, I created a world right now. I'm inside of a, of a fresh world and I just have this concrete platform with a lot of uh, logical thingies down here. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, there's glitch welders in there. I wonder what they're gonna do. And there's also scrap guard so that uh, the people joining the world aren't gonna be able to, you know, delete anything or fiddle with anything. This is, um, yeah, this is gonna be a little bit fun. Check this out, check this out. They're gonna spawn on that red square over there. And then, uh, and then we're gonna see, oh boy, <laughs> what's gonna happen? Let's find out. Oh, oh, we got Ricky. We got Ricky in the world. All right, Ricky. Ah, <laughs> we got Ricky. We got Ricky. <laughs> uh, can't do anything now, can you, Ricky? Oh, we got Jordan. Come, come here. Anywhere, anywhere you want to go, man. <laughs> there you go. I got another dwarf. I got another dwarf. <laughs> I think Delta knows what's going on already. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Ah! <laughs> uh, Delta is trapped. <laughs> There's nothing you guys can do. <laughs> sure. uh, quiet down, you. Quiet down. Oh, oh, we got Craftmaster. We got Craftmaster. Craftmaster. All right, all right, all right. Come on, come on, Craftmaster. Get, don't don't worry about the cages. Don't worry about the cages. Just come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. No, you can't bust them out. Well, okay. You managed to trigger two cages. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh no! What are you guys doing? <laughs> You're triggering the cages next to you. No! What are you? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, are they trying to break out? Ricky's trying to break free. Oh, Ricky! Ricky found a way out. <laughs> you got another person joining. Here you go. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> we got another one. Oh, he just rage quit. So yeah, how this works, uh, I, got, I went ahead and saved my, um, it, oh, 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 whoops. Whoops, whoops. So how I did it, I just created like a little module for a dwarf cage like this. And this is what I welded a bunch of times over again. So you just go ahead and weld it on into place like that. Then, then you glitch weld it out of existence. Connect this logic gate here. Just in time. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time, there's a craft master demonstrating for us this little module and how it works. And then, of course, there's a little scrap guard in there if you want to prevent them from being able to break open the bars like Craftmaster just did. You know, it's just something that you put in the center of your world. Everyone spawns in, and then doesn't matter which direction they walk in, they can't they can't delete the bars. They can't they're stuck in cages. So I, I had a little bit of fun building this, and I 
I guess my supporters did too. What's up, guys? Goom, goom, goomderf, goomderf, goombaderf, goomderf. So that was a lot of fun. Thank you all so much for your love and support on this glitch welded series. This is this is really I'm having super much. I'm having super much fun. <laughs> So thank you all for your love and support on this Glitch Welded series. I'm having a lot of fun. And oh my goodness, you guys have such amazing ideas down in the comment section below. I'm sorry that I'm not able to check out all of them in every single video. There are so many great ideas in the comment section below. So if you see somebody else suggest something in the comments that you want to see in the next video, be sure to upvote that because I'm going to be checking those comments for the next video. So don't forget to slap a like, subscribe, leave some suggestions. Believe it or not, I already have a cool surprise plan to show you guys for the next one. See you then.